Okay, question number 16 on the test review 2 for unit 11. Question number 16, design a parabola for a hot dog cooker that is 18 feet wide and 4 feet tall. All right, well, let's just assume that every unit on our grid is a foot. So let's go through the steps to do this. Oh, first thing I want to do, class, though, is let's follow our procedure. Let's go ahead and make make an x and a y axis. So let's do that here. I'm going to make that my x axis on the bottom. And let's try to get my y axis somewhere in the middle. I think that looks pretty close to the middle, hopefully. Try to get that straight up and down if I can. There we go. That looks pretty good. I'm going to make that a little wider so we can see it. Now, you know what? I think that thickness is good. Maybe just change the color. Will the color be better? No. All right, we'll leave it the way it is. Okay. We know, class, that to make this job easy, we're going to make our vertex our vertex at 0, 0. Oh, it says assume the vertex will be at point zero zero. So let's write that. The vertex is at 0, 0. We know that our hot dog cooker is going to be 18 feet wide. That means we're going to be 9 feet, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 feet to the right, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 feet, oh, we put negative 9 here because that's what our x value is. Negative 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Negative 9 to the left. And then it's going to be 4 feet tall. So we're going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4. We know this point is on our parabola, 9, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We know this point is also on our parabola, negative 9, 4. Okay, we've got our graph started. Let's do the step A. Find the equation of the parabola. Okay, we learned in class we always start with the vertex form of a parabola. Y equals A times X minus H squared plus K. We already know two of these values, H and K. Those come from our vertex, which is at 0, 0. That means h equals 0 and k equals 0. And class, we can find x and y values from a known point. We know that 9, 4 is on our parabola and negative 9, 4 is on our parabola. I'd rather use 9, 4 because they're positive numbers and easier to work with. So our known point is at 9, 4. You can label up here, this is h. For the vertex, this is k. Here's our known x value. Here's our known y value. So we know that x equals 9 and y equals 4 for a coordinate that's on our parabola. All right, let's go back to the vertex form and fill out what we know. y is 4. a we don't know. x is 9 minus h, which is 0 squared, plus k, which is 0. Let's simplify this. This is 4 equals a times 9 squared. We can drop the k value because it's 0. We got rid of h because that doesn't change the 9. Let's simplify this. This is 4 equals 9 squared is 81a. And now we're going to divide both sides by 81. And we're going to end up with a is equal to, let's do the math here. We've got 4 divided by 81 equals. And our, our uh, a value, we want to go to four decimal places, 0 0.049, and then we're going to round to 3 to a 4. So 0 0.0494. 0 0.0494. Four is our a value, and now we can write our equation. y, let's scroll up a little bit so you can see this, y equals 0 0.0494. In class, we don't have to write the h value because it's 0, so that's just going to be x squared, and we don't have to write the k value because that is 0. So there's our equation. All right. 
calculate the location of the focus is next. So let's find our focus. All right, well, we know our A value, so we can find our P value. P is equal to 1 over 4A, which is 1 over 4 times 0 0.0494. Now when you put this in your calculator class, you know, I should probably write this the way that you put it in your calculator because some of you got confused about this in class. You're going to put this in your calculator like this. 1 over 4 times, 4 times 0 .0494 and that's going to all be in parentheses. Let's put that in our calculator. Oops, that's not the right thing. Try this. And let me get this to go somewhere else where I can see my work. I've got 1 divided by parenthesis 4 times 0 0.0494 close parentheses equals 5.06. So our p-value is 5.06. And let's take a look. That is in feet. Our unit of measure is in feet. So 5.06 feet. So therefore, the coordinates of the focus are going to be, well, we know the focus is going to be above the vertex. Let's plot it first. 5.06 feet. I can round that to 5.1 feet to make it easier to graph. Let's go ahead and graph that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5.1. I will label this as my focus which is at 0, 5.1. Let's label that right here. The coordinates of this focus are 0, 5.1. All right, got it. Next thing you want to do is finish drawing our parabola, and we're going to need to plot some accurate points on this parabola. Let's use an XY table. So you're going to plug these into your calculator, the x values, and come up with the y values. Notice I started with 0. I ended with 9 because that's as far as we have to go on the x axis. And I skipped a couple numbers class because honestly, way down here by the vertex, those numbers are so small they're difficult to graph anyway. So let's put in 0. We know we're going to get 0. That's the vertex. Let's plug in 9 right now, just to make sure our, our equation looks, looks good. So where did our equation go? Let's scroll to it. There's our equation. So we're going to plug in 0 0.0494 times 2 squared. So I'm going to, where's my caret here? Oh, I'm going to raise this to the second power and press equals and I've got 0.197 I'm going to round that to 0.2 so this is 0.2 0 0.2 now I'll let you do all the rest of the calculations I'll just fulfill in a few of these to save some time this is going to be 0.8 this is 1.8 you should check class to make sure you're getting these numbers this is 3.2 and let's plug in 9 to make sure we're going to get 4. If we plug in 9, we should get 4 because you know that point is on the graph. Let's do that. So 0 0.0494 times 4 squared and press equal. And that is, oh, that's not correct. I think I must have put that in wrong. Let's try again. 0 0.0494. 4 times 9, sorry, 9, and then we're going to square that. And we've got 4.00, that looks good. It should be around 4, and we've got 4.0. Okay, last step, carefully sketch the right and left side of the parabola and label the location of the vertex and the focus. Well, we already got our vertex and focus. Let's plot our points. So at 2, we're at 0.2. So 1, 2, we're about right here. At 4, we're about 0.8.
At six, we're at 1.8. Oops, that's not six, that's five. So be careful because I'm going by twos. At six, we're at 1.8. At eight, we're at three, one, two, three point two. And at nine, we're at 4.0. Let's go ahead now and reflect those on the other side of the y-axis. There's at two, there's at four, <clears throat> excuse me, there's at six, and at eight we are at 3.2, so one, two, three point two. And I'm not going to attempt to do this class, but you can see that makes a pretty nice parabola. You should go ahead and sketch the parabola, make a nice clean curve along that entire thing. If I had to change anything, I'd probably slide this point down a little bit. It was a little bit off. Bring that a little bit lower. And now that looks a lot more like a curve. So we've gone ahead and finished the last part of our question. We have filled out our XY table, we've sketched our right and left side, and labeled the location of the vertex and the focus. All right, so that is question number 16. I'm going to do number 17 on a second video because I'm going to run out of time.